The Honorable Beatrice Alachi, member for Dagoretti North. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I also rise to support this motion and to thank the chairman and the team. And indeed, just to speak on what our majority leader has just said, Madam Speaker, when you look at this country, where we've come from and why we are in debt is because of many of the public investments that we did and it became projects of individual people in government who decided to open up their own companies do the business and be the beneficiaries of many of the projects that we have seen madam speaker when i look at the expressway as majority leader said there are many things that we need to question number one when shall kenyans be the owners of the road and i know right now definitely they are making even that if indeed the committees can really interrogate we can be able to know this road by four years five years can be now a resource for government and so that also government can make indeed some resources to repay back other debts that we have madam speaker as we move forward we also need to appreciate that these regulations are now going to help us more on many other PPP programs that we are going to have or projects for government that will ensure that government is able to sit in and say, this is how we would wish this project to run. But more importantly, if indeed this project of express was given exemption of tax, then indeed we must go back to them and they must pay government so that government can also get revenue madam speaker to use and also to pay we find ourselves in a situation where we have very many opportunities madam speaker but as ourselves as kenyans are killing the same opportunities and so i want to urge those in government that indeed if we have this and you want to do business it is okay but remember it is also your country don't just do business to kill others and to remain alone. Then you make many others poor for you to benefit. It won't help you at all. So for us, Madam Speaker, in this house, and I'm hoping this august house, the 13th Parliament, can change and bring back the opportunities that Kenyans have lost. Opportunities of Qatar going to Rwanda. Opportunities of many other investors just getting disappointed with our country on how we run things and these regulations must support that and we should stop to being the bottlenecks of those who kill businesses in our country and kill jobs for our young people and now start appreciating that it is for us to revive where Kenya had gotten lost. With those few remarks, Madam Speaker, I beg to support. The Honorable David Ocheng, member for Ugenya. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, for the last 15, 20 years now, we have, as a country, spent enormous resources and competences trying to raise our level of, our, our ease of doing business indices. We, as a country, have, in the last parliament, for example, 